that that was mine. You know, I can see like in the layer just bowls of like candy. <laughs> that is so funny. I would I would love to see you try to eat the candy. Like how do you yeah, even eat it's it's candy? hard. You gotta like take the hood out and put it underneath. <laughs> <laughs> or things with straws. I should like be into shakes and stuff. That's <laughs> <laughs> um oh this is cool. Okay. What was your audition process like for the show? Uh yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, my audition process, I found out, um, or I auditioned for this, like, six months before we even started shooting. Really? That's great. <clears throat> yeah, and I originally actually auditioned for Yolanda. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I auditioned for Yolanda, and I met Angelica in the waiting room. Nice. Um, and we, like, bonded over candy, funny enough. Cool. And, um... And uh, I obviously did not get Yolanda, but a week later they were like, oh, do you want to audition for the villain? And I was like, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. the villain, like they're casting a villain. Cause they didn't give any information about the show. Like yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah. I auditioned for it. There was no script. There was, it was fake names. It was, you know, a, you know, very, very discreet. And um, so I kind of had to put two and two together when I was reading it. And I figured out that you were my dad. Jack yeah. was my dad. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh, okay. So then I'm Shiv or this chick named Cindy. My name is Kylie in the sides, but I have to <laughs> put it all together. And um, after that, it was um, just kind of, you know, the rest is history. They were just like, yo, you. That's you awesome. Know? That was cool, yeah. It was cool. And then six months later, literally six months later, I was like, okay, I'm going to Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best when you actually get something else that you have auditioned for. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Especially you get to be this badass villain. It's so Oh, my cool. God. It was so fun. It's so fun to release. <clears throat> uh, and for me, I guess, um, Jeff called me, and I hadn't heard from Jeff in a few years. We're, you know, still great friends. Just, he's busy. I was busy. And I was shooting still in, in New Zealand for Mulan. And he, we talked about it. And then, uh, yeah, and, and that's when, you know, I sent in a tape. I didn't really know anything about, you know, um, Dragon King either. You know, yeah. Google, then you saw those photos, whatever. But, you know, so I did it and the, you know, the sides were interesting. It was about me basically operating. I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing. But I was like, you know, you know I didn't really know the tone. But because Jeff is, you know, such an awesome dude, he's pushed me through. And then, yeah, and then we got it, and it was awesome. It was just such an amazing thing to, to know that, that it was work. That is so cool. And especially on that something that so Jeff cool. talk, talked about this back in Blade days, you know, that tragedy with his sister, which makes it so much more special for us all to be a part of. And, you know, right. to be, yeah, it's, it was so cool. It's, it's an amazing reminder, just the reason why the show exists in yeah. general is yeah. because of Courtney, and it's beautiful, and... I don't, I don't, I've never worked on a project that close to home to someone no. to, that it just oh. touched everyone else's heart who we cast. It's crazy. It's, it's yeah. beautiful. Well, yeah, it makes us really, it makes us take ownership of it, I think, instead of like some shows might be like, right. I'm out of here. I'm, you know, but this is like, yeah, it means a lot. Completely. Okay, so here's the next one. How did it feel? To, okay, wait. <laughs> I want you to tell them <laughs> Which one? <laughs> How did it feel to get? into your own super suit <laughs> uh, uh hard it took forever it takes an entire army like it takes how many people how many people i had have... my team like team dk had uh usually at least two people to be the main um uh, but nick and miguel were mostly the guys that are helping me get my stuff in uh, anthony also helped me then i had my eye tech which was casey always doing my eyes victoria was always around so and usually about five six putting like yeah. your props in your yeah paper. exactly it, it 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 took forever to get on. I have so many different things. I I have my makeup underneath and stuff. Um, I <laughs> I had these two industrial fans that were called Makita, and I'd always just call out because once that hood came down, it was like a ticking clock. Because I was like just instantly start dying the instant oh that came God, down. I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I remember there was one during one of the fight scenes. I had to stop because I was like, cut! I can't. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. It's too hot. So, yeah. <laughs> No, your eyes, your, I mean, did it feel like there was something in your eyes constantly? Oh, all of that. That was the first time I'd ever put in contact. And, That's you know, insane, Nelson. And, I can't yeah, even imagine, and, like, acting with stuff on, like And that. between every take was, like, someone, like, okay, look up. Adjusting, touching my eyeball, but, yeah. 
but That's it's so still, it's all worth it. It looks so cool. That is so cool. Um, Demi Cur Demi Courage Demi Courage asked me about my ring because the poster came out, and this ring I actually got in Burbank, and I brought it back to me or brought it back with me to shoot, and they were like, "Yo, wear that." Nice. Um, so it was kind of cool. But anyway, just wanted to to answer your question there. I just saw that. I'm, I wear my rings. I never take them off, honestly, and, and unless they break. So hopefully <laughs> this one never breaks. Actually, this one already broke, and I got it fixed. So <laughs> dedication. <laughs> okay. 